I didn't realize that it was anti-Semitic to say, hey, you know, I have a Jewish attorney. I have a Jewish <laughs> record label. I have a Jewish contractor. I have a Do you Jewish regret your statements? What's going on on this or that? I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. That conversation is dismissive. And it constantly revolves around the rhetoric, rhetoric of who are the chosen people of God. And I'm not here to argue over a person or a culture or religion or what they believe. No, nah, this is what is here. It's on a public platform. Did I do anything illegal? Kanye West and Kyrie Irving has been under fire in the media for making quote unquote anti-Semitic statements. But in today's video, we're actually going to dig a little deeper into their claims and see why they're being forced to apologize about this and if this is something they should be apologizing for. So this is a disclaimer. I am humble with what I present. If you see something wrong, let me know in the comments. This is an unbiased video. At the end of the day, we just want the truth. Don't shoot the messenger. Expand your mind. Second disclaimer, this is not an anti-Semitic video. And if you want to know where I got this information, just look in the description below. Okay, so we're just going to jump straight into it. A Jew is the exact same thing as a Hebrew and a Hebrew is the exact same thing as an Israelite. So keep in mind that the Israelites are the chosen people of God. And if you want to know where that term comes from, it comes from the story of Jacob wrestling with God. And once he loses, God renames him Israel. And if you heard about the 12 tribes of Israel, it's because Jacob or AKA Israel had 12 sons. So at this point, if you're wondering what does this have to do with Kanye or Kyrie Irving, we're going to get there in just a second. So it's important to note that there is an umbrella of different kinds of Jews. It's not just the common one that we see, which is the Ashkenazi Jews. The Ashkenazi Jews originated in Europe and after the Holocaust, they migrated over to the U.S. or to the actual country of Israel. So if we take a look at this Pew research, we can see that two thirds of the U.S. Jews identify as Ashkenazi and 63% of those Jews are both non-Hispanic white or Ashkenazi. So Americans are so accustomed to seeing Ashkenazi Jews that it's hard for them to believe that there are black Jews. And once someone makes that statement, people instantly get offended, but it's true. There's black Jews all across the world. You have Beta Israel of Ethiopia, you have the Uganda true um, Jews. And it's important to note that no one colonized them. They already practiced Judaism way before anyone else or before these debates. So at this point, if you're wondering, is Jewish a religion? Is it an ethnicity? If you're confused, I understand. Just keep trucking along. I promise you, um, I'm going to explain all of that. So ethnicity is when there's a social group that practice a common national or cultural tradition. And a nationality is a person coming from a specific nation. So one thing I really want you to pay attention to is I said nothing about race. If that's a question in your head, why didn't I talk about race? We're going to talk about that. Race is a social construct that is created by a human to categorize people. So if we're looking at a Jamaican. Their nationality is Africa because they come from Africa, but their ethnicity, the practices that they're accustomed to is Jamaican. Same thing for an African-American or what we call ourselves, quote unquote, black. So now here we are, we got two melanated people. You have one from Jamaica and you have one from America. Um, if a Jamaican is in America and another black person or melanated person looks at them, they might say you are black and that Jamaica, Jamaican might say, no, I'm actually Jamaican. So it's not our fault that we don't know our identity. It's because of slavery. Um, we are not black people. You come from somewhere, you do have an identity. And just because you're melanated does not mean that we all come from Africa. And I really want to emphasize that. 
So an aboriginal is a person that existed on the land before a colonist came. So these people have been here since the beginning of time. A colonist is a person that comes from a completely different place, come over and take over a new place or colony. And so this may be your stereotypical Australian when you think about Australia, but actually the original people that inherited that continent are the Australian aboriginals that look a little bit like us. So if you're confused at this point, you're like, I thought all quote unquote black people or melanated people came from Africa. No, there are some people that actually exhibit, um, inhibited that continent or that place and have always been there for years. So this is where it becomes important to know that melanated people are original people. Um, they're the very first and we're going to talk about that a little bit later on. I know it's a lot of information, guys. I know it's like, that looks like my cousin, my uncle, my brother. And you're just like, so you're telling me that these people have never been out of Africa. No, they always been on that continent. Whether that goes back to Pangea, where people migrated way before the splitting of the continents. We'll talk about that in another video. So what does this have to do with Jews? What does this have to do with Kanye or Kyrie Irving? Um, the main thing here I want you to take away is that there are black Jews. Black Jews do exist and that is not an anti-Semitic comment. It's a fact that in the Bible and also in the Torah, since we're talking about Deuteronomy and Leviticus being a part of the Old Testament, and this is another video, that the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered across the nation. So Judaism is a religion practiced by Jewish people. That's key. And in order to be Jewish, your mother has to be Jewish or of Hebrew descent, or you have to convert over to Judaism. So to answer your question, is Jewish being a religion or race? What is it? A nationality is treated as an ethnicity because you guys are sharing the same traditions or customs. There's, it's been a little debate saying that you could be genetically Jewish and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get very scientific on this part, but I'm going to break it down to where you guys get it. So don't be intimidated. So chromosomes are a part of your DNA, which is given from your mom and your dad. And this basically makes up your entire identity, including how you look and how you act. Um, that's getting a little bit deeper into it, but I'm going to keep it simple. So when your parents had sex, your dad either gave you an X or Y chromosome and your mom always gave you an X. So females will always have two X's and a male will either have an X or a Y. So even though in the Old Testament of the Bible in Deuteronomy, it states that you are your father's seed um, in Judaism, they go by the maternal line. So whatever your mother is, is who you are. So if your mother is Jewish, then you are Jewish. And there are even parts of the Bible that's not in the Bible, that's a book of the Bible that states that you are your father's seed. And if you're looking through your Bible right now, like where's the book of Tobit? Uh, you're not gonna find it. It is an apocryphal book. And if you wanna know more about that, go ahead and watch this video here. So going back to being genetically Jew, um, scientists have found that there are two types of haploid types, a part of the chromosome that will determine whether or not a person is Jew. So the first one is the Cohen modal haploid type and the other one is the Levite modal haploid type. And basically of the two haploid types, you're either a descendant of Aaron or a descendant of the Levites or the tribe of Levi. So this is where things get a little bit interesting because scientists have actually found that the Limba tribe in Zimbabwe has a high frequency of Cohen modal haploid type. And haploid groups are actually ways to identify what part of the world you come from. So the oldest haploid group in the world is haploid group A00 and is extremely rare outside of Africa, but they found it in Jews in Europe because they migrated over. So does that mean that the tribe of Levi come from this haploid group, which come out of Africa? And if at this point, uh you're driving yourself crazy you have not seen anything yet that all of life actually came out of africa and i know that there's an in africa and out of africa theory we'll talk about that in another video but also that this depiction of adam and eve that we see in the books also in church that's often talked about actually does not look like this but looks like this and this is what hebrews look like on ancient egypt hieroglyphics 
and I know that this might be a little scary to some people. Don't lose your head. Just educate yourself. There's multiple groups like the Hebrew Israelites and the Nation of Islam that talks about the true identity of quote unquote black people in America and all over the world. And yes, I am aware that they consider these as hate groups. But what I want you to know is that for obvious reasons, of course, they're going to say that again, just do your own research. And this brings me to my conclusion. Don't give someone backlash on something that you personally haven't researched. And just because the media says it's wrong or anti-Semitic, you still need to conduct your own research to determine it. And sometimes we need to think more logically instead of being more reactionary. The media loves that. And there's a chance that this video will still be considered anti-Semitic, even though I provided all my sources in the description. Again, it's not. See you in the next video.